All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, once again, it's Ed O'Brien from 24-7 Sports. Here, my man, Tristan Lux, class of 2026 linebacker. Tristan, welcome to welcome to the We Run the State podcast. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to come on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem at all. Uh, before, before, you know what? We get into the uh, football football stuff. Um, I wanted to talk to you about, um, you know, obviously I follow you on Twitter. And I see that one of the causes that you support um, is childhood cancer. And if you don't mind, I mean, because it looks like, you know, doing, doing whatever you can to raise awareness about childhood cancer. And if you don't mind me asking, I wanted to find out, you know, a little bit about what led you to support in that particular cause. Um, I have a, um, a family member who had cancer when she was younger and um... We, you know, we all thought, you know, it wasn't, she wasn't going to end up fighting her way through it. And it was very, it was a very sad moment, you know, for, for my family and she ended up fighting through it. And that led me to, um, kind of like keep it going. You know, I want to help other people fight through it and get more awareness to the situation. All right. And what are, is there a website or what? I know you, you I know you got something coming up in, in regards to raising awareness. Um, if you don't mind letting the people know what they can do to, you know, contribute or help you with the cause, because I, I, I think it's a very admirable thing that you're doing. Um, I, I have bracelets come in, um, t-shirts. Um, I'm organizing a group of athletes, um, um, uh, to help support, um, like high school players. I've had uh, NFL Hall of Famer, um, going in. I, I posted a picture of it. Um. What we did, I did PWC, I had police department. You know, I'm just, I'm, do, I'm, I'm giving out things to help, but it's mostly other people doing it, you know what I mean? Yep, I, and I definitely respect that. And what I'll do is, when I re-edit this, um, I'll ask you for the information, I'll make sure I post it on this interview, so. Yes, sir. Yep, I'll make sure I get that out for you. Again, I respect your whole, respect you in general, but definitely for what you're doing. Um, and I'll definitely uh, get that information from you, so. I definitely want to reach the national um, this year in September and okay. get everybody wearing bracelets, everybody wearing yellow mm -hmm. during games. You know, everybody wears cake during breast cancer awareness. Get people wearing yellow. All right. So, but definitely uh, make sure to help you, you know, get that word out. Now, this is switch, switch lanes real quick. Um, I believe you're in the middle. Are you in the middle of a spring practice? Do they have spring football in Virginia? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you don't mind, talk a little bit about how that's going, and also um, off of that question, what are some things that you think you've improved upon as a football player from the end of last season up until now? Um, I'll, I'll answer the, the the what I improved on first. I, I definitely have gotten faster. I've gotten a lot stronger since last season. Um, my football IQ has jumped. Because I've been watching film, get, getting with coaches, learning what not to do, and learning what to do. Uh, I'm with um, like a few of my mentors, you know, Chris Jones and um, Sean Murphy. One of them's at Georgia, and the other one went to Alabama, but now it's at Florida State. But I, I'm making a position change from edge to um, linebacker. And I'm playing, I'm a linebacker this season. You know, I got the measurables for it. Um, I don't have the measurables to be a D1 edge rusher. You know, I'm only um, 6'1", so I, I would need a couple more inches. So I'm making a position change this spring. It's going really well, though. Um, we, have a, um, we have a really good team. Uh, we're, we're playing together. It's, very, it's a very fun situation. I'm very excited for this year. That's awesome, man. I think you mentioned you've gained some weight since the end of last season. Yes, sir. What was the uh, what was the change? What's I mean? What's what's how much how much weight did you gain? I gained probably give or take like ten, maybe fifteen pounds since last season. I was well, last season I played at, at two twenty, two fifteen. I'm sitting at around two twenty five, two thirty. Um, and I still move. I run a four six. I'm very I'm very you know fluid. I'm not you know I'm not as stiff as people think I would be. Uh, but um. Yeah, I gained, I didn't gain much, but it definitely makes a difference when paths start hitting. And you know what? What you said about people thinking you're stiff. Um, I'll say 
you, t- you know, when you came out to the All-State Preps camp back in February and I seen you moving around, I didn't think you were stiff, but you definitely moved around better than I thought you would. Um, or, and, you know, you're physically pretty big for a linebacker, uh, definitely at the high school level. So actually at any level, but you're a pretty sizable guy. So I, I definitely was impressed with your uh, movement. Um, now, currently, you know, uh, I think it's about a week left in the um, evaluation period. Um, from a from a recruiting standpoint, has there been any contact from college coaches with you or your there's coaches? Been, there's, def- there's definitely been some contacts. Not, not as much as there would have been if I was a 25, because I'm, right now I'm, I'm a 26, so they're not exactly able to talk to me, but I will say there is some recruitment going on. Okay, and do you have, have you already set your schedule as far as uh, where you plan to camp at? Uh, yeah, I plan, to, I plan to go to some um, D2 schools. I'm going to Wheeling, of course. Um, Shepherd, Moorhead State is a, one of the D1 schools. I'll also be at Maryland, Penn State, North Carolina, BMU, West Virginia, William Mary, Virginia Tech, and you know, a few more. Um, but I'll be moving around a little bit. Okay. Okay. And, you know, before I let you go, there's, you know, also another topic I wanted to talk to you about, because as I mentioned, I was at seeing you in person, but when I saw you, I, maybe I didn't catch it, but I saw you lifting weights on Twitter, you know, through your posts, but I didn't know you were an actual weight lifter. How long have you been doing that? I've been lifting weights for around four years. Mm -hmm. Um, my dad got me into lifting weights when I was younger. He taught me what to do. Um, also, as I grew, what, what, what kind of got me into it was I was bullied when I was younger. Okay. And I was um, very skinny. I, I'm talking, I was, I'm, I, I have another growth spurt in me, so I, I grew very fast in, in middle school. I was probably like six foot, wow. 150, like 150, 140. And I was like straight bones, man. And. <laughs> My dad, my dad knew I wanted to get started in the weight room, and mm-hmm. he helped me. He helped me, and a few other people did as well throughout the journey. All right, and and how has that helped to? How has that translated for you to the football field? Um, that's definitely a confidence builder. You know, when you move like five hundred plus pounds and do it confidently, I can do it on the field too. You know what I mean? Move mm-hmm. those big boys who are only three hundred. It's not as much right. as when I move in the weight room. The mindset. You know the one, the one rep mentality. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean, like the one more rep, one more rep, I need one more. Right. It's on the field too, but it's forced down, and I have to get, I have to get after it. You know, uh, the trust in teammates in the weight room, getting either with your team, and you're lifting. They know I have their backs in that room, so they'll know I have it in the weight room. Um, injury prevention. Like I said, I've, I've gotten faster and more explosive as well. Um, okay. I could play on the line, nickel, inside and outside backer. Um, and um, like, like you said, it, it, people think I would be stiff mm-hmm. lifting all this weight. Um, but really, the way that I do it doesn't make me stiff because I'm still, I'm still in the field. Right. And I'm doing main movements. I'm not going around doing straight bodybuilder music mm-hmm. i also i won the i don't know if you saw that but i went to um the power thing yep and those three movements is just bench deadlift and squat it's nothing you know like i'm not going around doing crazy <laughs> bodybuilding you know things it's very it's right. very simple simple wins the game and that's you know it translates over as well that's awesome and uh before i let you go uh for any colleges that might be looking at this college coaches why should they recruit you? Um, I, I think I'm I'm different. I I'm not like everybody else. I'm not looking for you know attention. I'm doing it. To, I'm doing it to play. I let them love for the game. I I just I just want to I just want to be great, and that's what sets me apart. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Well, I, you know, all right, Tristan. I, um, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk with me, and um, I, I, obviously I'll be keeping tabs on you. And I uh, definitely wish you the best of luck and um, definitely keep me posted um, in the upcoming months uh, with your uh, prospect uh, camp visits and things of that nature. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank no you for problem having me. At, no problem at all.